Did you miss a flash last night? Don't worry if you did. I got you covered with my recap and reaction of episode 21 of The Flash, Grodd Lives. The episode begins with Captain Singh looking for Eddie, but Joe and Barry cover for him, saying he's taking some personal time. Captain Singh then tells him about the gold robberies that have been happening in the city lately. He says they should try to get the flash on it. Speaking of, across town, Central City Gold Reserve comes under fire from a thief in heavy armor. Sisko tells Barry who runs the scene. But when he tries to stop the thief, he experiences strange mental hallucinations and falls to his knees. The armored thief takes the opportunity to escape and leaves Barry confused as to what just happened. Back at Star Labs, Barry gets a full look over, but everything seems fine. Barry says that he felt overwhelming fear, which was different from his experiences with the Rainbow Rider. Just then, Iris walks into Star Labs and announces that she knows Barry's secret. She says she put it together after filling a jolt of electricity when touching Barry and the Flash. Barry tells her that Eddie knows, which explains why he's been weird and why Reverse Flash probably took him, and that Wells is the Reverse Flash who killed his mom. Oh yeah, and that Joe knew all this and decided not to tell her. She then storms out, feeling as her trust has been betrayed. In Reverse Flash's underground base, Eddie is still being held prisoner. He says he doesn't believe that the Reverse Flash is from the future, and wants him to prove it, but Wells tells him he doesn't need to. Joe goes to find Iris at her office and talks to her about everything, and to apologize, but she rejects his apology, and brings up another issue she has, that Joe never told her about Barry's true feelings for her. The argument is cut short by a call from Captain Singh, who says that the Gold Reserve is moving their gold to Coast City in an ice cream truck, as bait for the armored thief to rob. The thief takes a bait, and before he can cause too much damage, the Flash shows up and knocks him out. Joe unmasks the thief, and it turns out to be General Ailing. Barry takes the General to Star Labs, who's pretty much a zombie. The team questions him, and they figure out that Grodd is controlling him. They go through the Star Labs records and find that the General was experimenting on Grodd, and that the experiments coop with the particle accelerator explosion turned Grodd into a highly intelligent primate capable of mind control. Joe thinks that Grodd is just in a distraction unleashed by the Reverse Flash, and that if they find Grodd, they can find the Reverse Flash and Eddie. Based on newspaper stories, they think Grodd is hiding in the sewers. Joe, Sisko, and Barry head into the sewers and start looking. They soon find crude drawings on the wall. Based on the drawings, they figure out that Grodd is evolving and getting smarter. They begin to hear grunts. Soon Barry experiences another mental attack. Grodd grabs Joe, taking him away. Sisko gets Barry back to Star Labs, where they try to build a psychic shield for their next encounter against Grodd. All the stress becomes too much for Iris, and she storms out of the room. Barry chases after her. He tells her not to be angry at Joe for keeping his secret. She then turns her anger to Barry, asking how he could keep so many secrets from her. Barry replies by asking her if she might have feelings for him. Iris doesn't respond, and Barry leaves. In his hideout, the Reverse Flash tells Eddie how the Thawne bloodline is filled with many successful people. Except for Eddie. Eddie's the only Thawne to be forgotten by history. And to really drive home the point that Eddie sucks at life, he tells him that he doesn't get the girl. Showing him the future newspaper byline from Iris Wes Allen. With the psychic shield equipped, Barry is ready for a rematch with Grodd. Sisko uses steam to get Grodd out of his lair and line him up for a supersonic punch from Barry but Grodd counters the punch by throwing him to the side. Flash tries unloading more speed punches, but Grodd grabs him and throws him through a wall onto the train tracks, breaking his psychic shield. Barry is psychically attacked by Grodd, but Iris tells him to focus on her voice, blocking out Grodd's attacks. He does and gets Grodd to jump in front of a train. Barry finds Joe and takes him back to Star Labs. With Grodd taken care of, Ellen regains control of his body. Barry frees him from the metahuman prison, but says he'll get what's coming to him. Meanwhile, Barry, Caitlin, and Sisko plan their next move. They realize that they don't need Wells to stop metahumans. They're still Team Flash without him. Barry finds Iris to talk to her, saying that her earlier pep talk gave him the strength to overcome Grodd's mental attacks. Iris then admits that she really does have romantic feelings for Barry, but can't do anything about him until they find Eddie. Down in Wells' lair, he pulls out a vial and says he has a key. He then goes up a ladder to a corridor. It lights up, and Wells says it's time for him to go home. This episode was pretty good. I really like what they did with Grodd, making him smart, but also showing that he hasn't gotten to his final evolution yet. 
and you can tell by how he countered Barry's punch just how smart he is. I do hope they give him the ability to fully speak, just like on Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. I think having him talk would make him even scarier. My one big complaint would be Iris was complaining the whole episode. Like I get it that you're mad they kept the secret from you, but the whole world does not revolve around you. And actually now that I think about it, they kind of forgot about Eddie in the later part of the episode. But Dr. Wells hasn't forgotten about him. He was really making it a point to tell Eddie that he sucks at life. And now that I'm wondering if that was his backup plan to make him a bad guy. Possibly making Eddie this universe's version of Hunter Zolomon? Their backstories kind of line up, more or less, if I remember it correctly. And knowing that he's not going to end up with Iris might make him become a villain even more now. So altogether another great episode, it's definitely worth a watch or two. There's only two episodes left which is crazy. Next week we get a team up with Darth Oliver, or if he's back to normal, just Arrow, and Firestorm. Also heard Captain Cold will show up, so things are going to be pretty awesome next week.